I'm going to show you how you can automatically import CSVs into Airtable. I'll be using this tool by miniextensions.com. So the idea here is we have a table in Airtable, and what we want to do is we want to always keep this table in sync with this CSV file that we have. And this CSV file could just be any publicly CSV file, uh, any public CSV file on the internet. And what we want to do is we pretty much want to always add any missing cells. So any rows here that do not exist in Airtable, we want them to be added. And if an already added row changes somehow, we want to make sure that that stays updated. I'll show you how you set this up now. Start by filling in your API key, then select your base, and then select the table that you'd like to use. Next, we will use the CSV file URL. In my case, this is going to be this URL right here. And just to note again that this has to be a publicly available CS CSV. So it can be a CSV that's behind some login or anything like that. Next, we need the column that will have the unique IDs. So in our case, this column is street, this thing right here. This has to be 100% unique. Every single row has to have a different value than the other rows. So I will select that here, street. And then the last thing here is a tracker ID field. This is a special field for this extension. And what this does is it makes sure that your Airtable rows stay completely in sync with the CSV. So what you'll wanna do is you'll wanna go back to your table and you want to say, create a, create a column here. And then let's say tracker ID, and then leave that as a single line text, then click save. Then don't forget to resync your base. So click run here. And that saying the base. And then I can go back here and then select that tracker ID field. All right, let's go ahead and hit save and run. Now, depending on the size of the CSV, this will you know take a while versus not. It's pretty much always dependent on what you have in the CSV and how many rows you have. And are they getting added? Are they getting updated? But our overall recommendation is as long as you have under 7,000 uh, rows, should be fine to run and sync completely. So if I go back here, I'll see that the rows are already being added. We're at 150, 160. And I think in my table, I have about 300 rows. Yeah, so three and eight, 380 rows. While this is happening, I'll explain a couple more things. So I just ran that manually through clicking here, but you can also run this through a scheduler. So you can schedule it to run every hour or whatever configuration works for you. And then also you can run it as a webhook. A webhook is a URL. Every time that URL is opened, the job will get executed. So pretty much if you have, let's say an Airtable form or if you have a, a zap and you want to, in the middle of that, be able to trigger this job, you, you would use that URL there. So it looks like this job is done. I can go here and see that the fields got added. We have 380 and here we had 381, but it's including the header. So 380 is the right number. 